Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to edit the new Guten slider block which you can use to set up slideshows for your website. I'll show you it in action. So you might also notice I'm now using a lavalier mic. Let's see if it improves the audio quality. So on the homepage of this website, I've set up a slideshow and it's just a simple slideshow, just changes through images. It's a very common request. In the past, you'd use a plugger like Slider Revolution, but I've personally found it to be overkill. It's difficult. It's very hard to teach people how to use it. Guten Slider is much, much easier, very fast to set up. So firstly, what you want to do is you want to log into the back end of your website, and then you'll want to add the Guten Slider plugin. Now I've already added to this added it to this website, but I'll just show you how to do that. So you just search for Guten Slider, and it'll be the first thing that comes up. And that's it there. So you just follow through the prompts to install it. So to edit the slider, we just go to the page that we have it on and go edit. And what I really love about this slider is that it, it's just part of the new editor workflow. You don't have to edit it from another setting inside of WordPress. You just do it right then and there on the page. So some of the common things that you would want to do with this slider is you'd want to adjust the dimensions of it as well as you'd want to add and change images. So if we, if we click on it, we get a few different options. Here we can actually change it to be a full width if we want, and then that means it'll span the entire width of the website. We can also change the vertical alignment, and so if you have text over the slide, it'll change the way it vertically aligns. Here we can edit the slides or the images in the slides. So let's have a look at that. So it's basically just a gallery. So if we want to rearrange the order, we just drag it to a different order. If we want to add extra images to the slideshow, we go add to gallery and up comes our media library. And so we just select another image. So for example, let's add one, add to gallery, and you'll see it puts it right there at the end. And then we just go update gallery. And what I really love about this plugin is that you get instant feedback. We can see that our fourth slide now is this beautiful uh, hand drawing. So another thing that you'll want to do is you might want to remove an image from the slideshow and simply just click that little cross icon there. So once again, to edit the slider, you just click this little edit slides button here and then it brings up our gallery. Super simple, easy to use, it's just great. Now I'll show you some of the block settings. So if we go more options, show block settings, You'll see here we have a few different settings. Now, this here is where we can change the type of animation. So we can go from a slide animation, which is more of your traditional slider, or a fade animation. I personally prefer the fade animation, but it's up to you. Uh, here's where we can have fixed content, and that's it if we want to have text over the top of the slideshow. It's not really um, something that I'll cover in this video. I might cover it in a future video. Now here's where we can change the height of the slideshow. So at the moment it's set to percentage and this is the percentage of the overall screen that the slideshow takes up. So if I, if I open this page here, you'll see that currently it's set to 60%. So you can see it takes up about 60% of the screen. Now we can adjust that if we want, we can you know increase that right up or we can reduce it. It's up to you to tweak that you can set it to what looks best for you. Here we can actually change between the different uh, options for mobile devices or tablets. So we can actually have different sizes depending on the device. Another option is to switch it over to pixels where we can have a fixed height based on a pixel number. Personally, I'd recommend just sticking with the percentage though. Uh, we also have a few more options. We can turn autoplay on and off. Generally, you want to have that on if we turn that off, it just stays locked on a slide. It won't change slides automatically. We can turn on the arrows if we want. Personally, I don't think they're really necessary. Um, most people will be on their mobile devices anyways, and they'll just be scrolling through the slider. We can turn on or off the dots, and we can also adjust it to loop. And by loop, it means that when it gets to the end of the slideshow, it will just start back again at the start. I generally would just say leave loop on. 
Uh, down here, we have a few different autoplay settings. We can pause on focus. So if you ho or hover, that will actually pause the slideshow on a particular slide once you're hovering over it. I'd recommend keeping these all set to default. And here we can adjust the dot size. And here we can also set the spacing. I'm, I'm not really sure what the, what the the spacing does. I think that might be the spacing for the arrows. Um, I've not had to adjust these settings before, so I'm not totally sure what they do. And yeah, that's really the, all there is to it. And when you're done, you just click update. So quickly, just to re, re go over what we've done, you to edit that slideshow, you just need to find the page that it's on. So I know it's on the home page, go edit page. And all you need to do is just click on the block itself and up, so just click here, anywhere there, you know, you can click in the middle, anywhere else, and it brings up the block settings. And from here, we can make the changes that we need to. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.